Remember, we just looked at it from above. It looks flat. From here, it looks like it's going down. Just above you is the highest point. And when you go any way away, it looks like it's getting lower and lower and lower. Um, yep. So this is an orthographic view. Let me just shrink this down a little bit. Okay. This is an orthographic view um, of what this guy is seeing. So now the sun is going to move across the sky. And when it goes in line with this cloud, from his point of view, he won't see it anymore. So when the sun crosses this line, it'll be just behind this cloud from his point of view. This is what nobody ever sees like this. This is a side view of what he's seeing. When it goes beyond this line here, you know, he'll see the, cloud, the sun here. But when it goes here, it's going to disappear from the bottom up behind this cloud and the same behind this cloud. You notice that this space is getting tighter and tighter as you go into the distance. All of this gets compressed together. So this is a side view of what he's seeing. As the sun goes away, it disappears, goes away, it disappears, it goes away, it disappears. Now it looks like it's going down below the Earth curve, but this is all just compression of atmosphere, clouds, mountains, ground, whatever. It all becomes this horizontal eye zone. You know, a lot of people don't like yeah. when I say the horizon is taken from horizontal eye zone. What do you think about that? A lot of people are like. Well, the that. only way the only <laughs> the only way to have a horizon is the way it's described. It's it's horizontal and never curves. It's ninety degrees to vertical, and the only way to have that is on a flat Earth. Yeah. It, 